fine. I thought the show went well and had a good sound on stage, so I'm pleased. Yeah. How, how was the gig for you today? It was really good. Yeah. It was a nice crowd and uh, good sound. And I like the weather, a long time to prepare and that always makes things better. Uh, have you been to this festival before? No, I heard a lot about it, but I've never been here. Um, how do you enjoy it so far? Oh, I hadn't seen so much. We got in last night and we were here for one hour or something. And then we went to the hotel and today we basically came here and set up and played. So, And we're actually leaving pretty soon too to catch a flight, so I won't uh, be able to see too much of it. But it was nice. I met some friends in other bands that I haven't seen in a long time, so that was nice. So you released this third album a few months back. Yeah. Uh, how were the reactions? I think good overall. I, I've got nothing to complain about and our touring has been going good too. We have getting good receptions from crowds and so on. So I've got nothing to complain about. And uh, what's uh, the, future, the future plans for the bands? Uh, well, it's festivals throughout the summer. And then in September we're going to support Soundgarden on a European tour. Uh, but I don't think we're coming to Belgium or France. Play in Amsterdam. That's a, so, yeah. yeah, Amsterdam is the closest. Uh, and then we're gonna have some time off and some Scandinavian dates. And then we'll see. Maybe next year we'll start writing a new album. We haven't really decided yet. But. So you signed the Nuclear Blast for the last albums. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's pretty much a surprise because there are more heavy events. Yeah. Um, How did that happen? You first signed on TP Records? Yeah, in, in North America, and then we had a small Swedish independent label in Europe. But uh, it was before our second album, and it, I don't know. You know, we've toured a lot, so people got their eyes up for us, and then I think it was through our manager who had contact with them. And at first, we were really surprised too, and like, yeah, just a lot of extreme metal. But I have nothing to complain about with Nuclear Blast. They're a great label to be on. And it seems like since they signed us, they signed a lot more uh, you know, regular rock bands, not extreme metal. And so is it that's why you play uh, so many metal festivals? Because that's, that's not where we would expect to see you. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it. But I think also... I don't know, even if we like stand out in a festival like this, because we're not so extreme or so, I think all the bands that play here have like some common roots in early heavy heavy rock, like Black like Sabbath and so yeah, on. So maybe that's why, because it's like the root of heavy, roots of heavy music. So a lot of people appreciate that too. When I was reading the program earlier, so there was a little description for every band, and for three bands in a row, it was saying influenced by Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath, oh, okay. Black Sabbath. That's what you could read for every band, so it doesn't say that much, I guess. Yeah. No, I guess what band isn't influenced by Black Sabbath, <laughs> even though we play blast beats or extreme metal? Um, in the description for Graveyard, it said that you started playing music and the only aim was to play as much as possible and bring your music everywhere. Would you say so? Yeah, well, uh, we've been playing for a long time with other bands and like throughout our lives. Uh, I think when we started Grave Graveyard, we were quite, you know, uh, disciplined and uh, I don't know if ambitious is the right word, but we had our, you know, our goal set and we were, uh, yeah, well, yeah, we really, you know, had decided to, to take this somewhere. So we played a lot. So I did sort of through, yeah. So, so that's what, what you wanted to do, play, play a lot of gigs? Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to you know, go around the world and meet people that appreciate your music and get see new places. And but Of course, I want to record good albums too. I mean, I like that I can make a living on playing music. So you managed to make a, a living of it? Yeah, since, uh, since we released Hissing and Blues. But then we were not living a high life. I'm not now either, but it's better now than, uh, than when we released this in the blues. Uh, so you tour, that's what are the best places for you to play? 
I don't know, it's you know from venue to venue, not so much what country. Like there's a venue in Vienna in Austria called Arena and it's a great venue to play. It's like uh, they have uh, an old industry complex with a big uh, chimney in the middle of the, of the yard and they have like three venues in one and it's like run by the people, four people. It's not a company that owns it or anything. It's a really nice venue. But then, I don't know, it's so hard to say just one. I appreciate a lot of, a lot of places like, for different reasons. And do you enjoy as well festivals like this one, where it's a bit, you have less time to play, it's a bit more stressful, I guess? Yeah, but today was all right, though. Uh, but I think I prefer, I mean, I like Hellfest, but I think I prefer festivals with lots of different types of music, where you can see, like, you know, maybe a folk singer and then a, a extreme band, and then maybe, I don't know, some other type of music they can appreciate, too. To me, like, if you go to festivals like this, it's like eating birthday cake, like, for a whole week. You know, even though I like birthday cake, I don't want to eat it, like, every day and for all the meals. So what other types of music do you like? A lot of different stuff, like early blues, jazz, and, I don't know, psychedelic rock, and a lot of extreme metal, too like death metal and tomb then I don't know Black Breath that played here I think they're an excellent band uh, we have a very wide taste of music within our band do you have anything else to say? Uh, uh, oh I don't know thank you for taking the time to do an interview with us and maybe we'll see you next time in Belgium yeah.